Hi everyone, Josh here from the Income Replacement Project and in today's video I'm we'll going to do something a little bit different. Um, now the reason for this uh, video is because um, I'm filming this right in the midst of the coronavirus COVID-19 uh, virus outbreak and I've had so many of you messaging me, emailing me and, and asking me what you can do to earn some money right now um, during this time because I know a lot of you have lost your jobs I'm so sorry to hear that for those of you that have but, um, and some of you are you know off work you've got to self isolate because you're either in the vulnerable group yourself or you you live with someone who's vulnerable or whatever reason it is for you right now that you're currently unable to work and earn a living I want to offer a uh, a potential solution or at least something that's going to help over this this difficult time now, when I first got started um, selling online, I I came across this website. It's called Fiverr, Fiverr.com, F-I-V-E-R-R.com. There's a link below this video. You can go straight to it. Um, and essentially, the concept here is, for those of you that haven't heard of Fiverr, is that you can get um, a service done or something uh, as a buyer. You can have something done for as, as little as $5. Now, it doesn't matter where you are in the world. You can offer services for sale on this website. Now that's what I want to talk to you guys about because I used to do this um, when I was struggling for cash early on in my early days of online. Um, I turned to Fiverr and I used to offer little uh, what they call gigs. Um, so at Fiverr call it a Fiverr gig. So if you were to offer a service, it's a gig that you're offering, not like a music gig. <laughs> um, anyway, so what you can see here, this is from a, a buyer's perspective. So I've come onto the site as a potential buyer. So I thought we'd just have a little poke around Fiverr, the Fiverr website, and kind of give you some ideas on the sorts of things that you might be able to offer based on your skill set or things you're interested in, um, in order to make some cash over the next however long this is going to be in for. Now, <clears throat> for those of you that have cash reserves or you're high earners or something like that, then maybe this isn't going to be of any interest to you. But this is for those of you who are out there and um, maybe you, you, you've been starting your Amazon business recently, but you've been stopped to send, you've been stopped from sending stock in and cash flow is low or, you know, whatever the reason might be. Maybe you've got a child, a, 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 um, a teenager or something like that, that wants to earn some money, whatever it might be. Anyway, this is going to benefit you. Um, so, yeah, let's have a little look through the Fiverr website and give you some ideas of the sorts of things that you might be able to do as a seller. Before we get started, though, I just want to say that you can get started as a seller almost immediately on Fiverr.com and you you can get paid by PayPal. Now, you get paid within 14 days of the order being completed. So once the customer says, yeah, the order's completed, um, then you, you're going to get paid within 14 days of that time. If you get to what uh, Fiverr call a top level seller or top rated seller, you can get paid out in as little as seven. So um, you can get paid in as little as two weeks for doing this kind of stuff. And it doesn't have to take all day and you can do it from home on your computer or anything like that. So just to give you an idea of the sorts of things that I used to personally do, um, I used to be in the SEO world, uh, search engine optimization. It was a service that I used to offer to my clients. And one thing that at the time that I used to do was to create backlinks for people. Backlinks is when people start linking to your website. And I wouldn't recommend that you guys go out there and do that. But one thing I noticed a lot of people were lacking in was comments on their blog posts. So some of you might be readers of blog posts where you go and you like read someone's blog and there's no comments there. And the owner of that blog is going to be a little bit despondent by the fact that there is no comments. So what I was offering is that for $5, I think at the time I offered three comments, I would write three comments, well thought out comments uh, relevant to the content on their blog post as uh, as a reader. So I would go on and read the post and I'd make a comment. It wouldn't just be like, loved your post. It would be something, you know, relevant and well thought out and, you know, uh, contributing to the article, offering offering more value. That would take me maybe, you know, five minutes per comment. So 15 minutes per $5 and I could do four of those in an hour. So I might be able to pull like 20 bucks an hour doing that. That's a little bit more hands-on, uh, but as you'll see as we go through, there are other things that you can do or you can offer. Perhaps you have a level of expertise already or a special skill that you might be able to offer on a very low, low level, low scale in order to, um, you know, try and generate some money. So let's have a look at the writing and translation. Translation is something that you could do. Perhaps you speak multiple languages or you speak another language very well. Um, you could offer to translate small uh, amounts of content. And what Fiverr allows you to do, let's just have a look at the translation side of things. Um, it allows you to um, start low and offer 
hi, so this person is offering to translate from Chinese to English or English to Chinese. Um, specialize in legal documents. So this is a key point. This person is specializing, specializes in translating legal documentation from Chinese to English and English to Chinese. Starting at £4.51 for 250 words. So if you want to, I assume this is going to increase the price. So if it's 500 words, it automatically ups the price. So this person, um, I don't know how long it's going to take them to do that, but I should think for someone who's pretty good at speaking a foreign language, we had to do that in a matter of minutes. So that's quick and easy money. Although I have to say, that if you are doing something like translation, then um, Fiverr do require, do require you to go through some sort of testing to make sure that you actually can do. You know, you're not just chucking it into Google Translate. <laughs> so they they want to they want to test you on a few different skill sets, and translation is one of those. But anyway, as you can see, this is a great way for someone to um, to 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 make a few few extra quid. So let's go back to the writing and translation section and see what else they have. Um, articles and blog posts so if you're a writer you can write articles and blog posts for other people like two to three hundred word blog posts the main people that buy these sorts of things I have to say are those that are building SEO sites search and search engine optimization they're trying to get their websites ranked on Google and they will want keyword heavy um, or, or, or cleverly put together articles to do that or just to you know fill their websites out uh, maybe you're 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 more of a prolific writer, and you could do you could write books or eBooks. Obviously, you'd be charging more than five dollars for that. But it, the the way this website is structured, that is that it enables you to, you know, level up your what you charge. I'll show you in a few minutes how you uh, put a gig together. Technical writing, case studies, research. Research is really really popular. Um, I actually um, have hired a number of researchers to go out there and just find some stuff out for me. Things that I could do myself, but it just it's not worth my time to, to spend the time doing it, I'd rather hire someone else who's better at you know doing the research and then coming back to me with a spreadsheet full of the data. Um, you can also do data entry if you just if you're happy just sitting there copying and pasting or doing research and putting information onto a spreadsheet. Again it's a high demand high demand um, product. Perhaps you can write emails for people. Uh, what else have we got here? Graphic design. Maybe you're you're handy with uh, Photoshop and you could throw together a, some um, some basic logos. Uh, for a low price banner ads, um, literally your imagination is the is where it limit where it, where the limitations are here. Perhaps you're you're an actor or you've got um, voiceover skills. You could you could do voiceovers for people, do video introductions. Literally, there is no limit. Anyway, so that's kind of you know an overview. Go and go and have a look on Fiverr.com. Click the link below this video. It'll take you over to Fiverr. Create an account, and you'll be able to see all the different types of things that people are offering. So now we're going to switch over to um, the view as a seller because I have a selling account. I haven't used it for many many years, but it occurred to me today that uh, this is a way that some of you would be able to start making some income. Um, so if we click on gigs as a seller and then create a new gig. This is where you say what you will do. So let's just use the blog comment uh, gig as an example. So gig title, I will leave one high quality, or no, sorry, uh, one well thought out relevant comment on your blog post. Okay, then I select the category, uh, writing and translation, uh, website content, that will do. Um, then, because it's a writing gig, they're asking me what languages I can write in. And of course, if you can speak anything other than English, you'll be more in demand on this site, particularly because it's it's uh, more the customer base is more the English speaking world. Um, so then we put in some tags, blog comment writing, um, something like that. Save and continue. Go to the next step, and this is where it's going to ask us to structure our our cost, like how much we want to charge. Um, so uh, that the one we saw before wasn't a good example, but uh, of the th offering three packages. But if you wanted to offer three levels, so you do, say one comment for five dollars, three comments for ten dollars, and I don't know ten comments for fifteen dollars, something like that. That that's how you can do it. You can click three packages. It gives you a little video tutorial here that which I'd recommend Today. watching, but I won't do that just now. Then you can name each one. So you might have like the bronze package, then you might have the silver package. I mean, again, you can call these whatever you like. Gold, so three comments. Uh, well, let's say uh, for ten, you'd need to offer more. So that three would be, in fact, seven comments, and then three lots would be twenty-one. So maybe you'd offer twenty-five comments for fifteen dollars or something like that. 
delivery. Whoops, I clicked Welcome that. To packages. Sorry. <laughs> delivery time. So now you need to select how long it's going to take you to to deliver on this gig. Um, one day delivery is really popular. If you're at home and you've got nothing else to do right now, then one day delivery is perfect. It'll get your um, it will get your gig offered. Um, ordered more frequently but it'll be much more attractive to people who want stuff done pretty quickly uh, words included so this is you know I might um, say it's a hundred words per comment or maybe it's 50 words per comment so let's say 150 750 350 and not three and a half thousand and then here it might be um, geez 1050 500 1500 I'm not going to add that up. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to say it's a thousand. It probably wrong, but anyway, just for the, the in the interest of speed. Um, so this is where we say here what 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 it is we're offering um, on a breakdown. This is because it's it's come up as website content, so it might be other custom page um, for all of these. But obviously, you have to tailor it your package as you, as you want to charge. Now you select the price. That's five. That's ten. That's fifteen. Obviously, again, you can chart, you can choose more expensive packages if you want. Oh, and I miss revisions here. So this is if someone comes back and they're like, "Well, I'm not really happy. I think you need to just change this, that, and the other." So you can say, "Oh, okay, I'll, rev I'll revise it once, included in the price." So this is where people get a little bit clever with it. They will say, "Well, actually, for the first package, you get no revisions, but if you want revisions, then I charge more." Um, so you can you can be really creative with it. And then if you want to add like an upsell to this, you can say, "Well, if you want your to have additional words." If you want bigger comments, then I'll charge an extra five dollars for an extra hundred words. Does that make sense? So you can add on extras here, and this is where you get to charge extra money for more stuff. Uh, and again, for the different three different levels you've got, you can say I'll deliver it really, really fast. I'll, if you're doing a four day, and you say I'll actually deliver it in half the time for an extra five dollars, you can do that. Um, and as you can see, like you've got all sorts of different things that you can add on here. So then we can click save and continue. Um, you must define a, an additional words for your package. Okay, let's get rid of that. Just because it wants me to fill them, fill that in before we can continue in this example. And then we write a description. So the best way to write a description is to go onto Fiverr as a buyer, have a look at the gigs that are performing the best, those that have the most reviews and the most traffic, and look at how they are writing their gigs. You don't want to just write, I will write, I will write three blog comments for you. Who's going to buy that? If you if you're advertising that, um, you really want to sell it. So you want to write something. You you probably write something more along the lines of, I will read your blog post in its entirety. Can't spell and leave three relevant, high quality comments to help um, encourage conversation on your articles. Um, again, that's not all I would write. I would start by, I would probably come in here by saying uh, the reason, uh, agitate the problem here. So wonder, wondering why nobody is commenting on your blog, it's because you need. I can't type today. You need to get the conversation started, and then you know I'd go into more detail, talking about how many comment, how many words per comment, and you know, just give as much detail. Thinking right, if someone's about to buy this, what questions might they have, and I will try and answer them in this description. The re uh, and and by in so doing, I will remove any barriers to any you know to them um, you know placing an an order with me. So once I've done that, um, this is new actually. I didn't realize you could do this, but you can add FAQs here. So that is where you would perhaps answer any questions like how many words do I get? <laughs> it's worth putting it in there because honestly, people may not read this in its entirety. They may actually flick to the FAQ and they want to know how many words they get and they want to know how many revisions they get. So just you know, reiterate your FAQs there. Save and continue. Go to next and tell buyers what you need to get started. So this is once the customer has placed an order. Think about what you're going to need for them. So if I'm going to be posting uh, comments on people's blog posts, I need to know. Please, um, 
please send me the links for the blog posts you, you wish for me to comment on. Um, an answer, you can set whether answer is mandatory, perhaps it's not, perhaps you don't need any information from your um, from your uh, customer to get started, but if in my case I do need the links so I can go create that and then I can click add, save and continue. And that's going to push it to the next section where we add the, um, we must add at least one required free text. Yeah, free text, let's go. Add, save and continue. Um, we can add images now to our gig. Um, now people are always wondering what, how do they, no, if you haven't got image editing software then how do you add uh, an image? You want something that stands out, you don't want something really boring, you need something that stands out. For that I recommend canva.com. If you go to Canva it's free. Um, when, you when you log in or sign up you'll be able to select a template. Let me just quickly log in. Okay I'm logged in, I just had to log in there. Um, so it's free to use, so if you want to go create a design um, and with whatever that might be, pick something that's going to be the right kind of size. Let's have a look. What might be the right size? Uh, let's just go with a poster. And then we can pick the size, change the orientation. Perhaps not a poster, perhaps may not be the right right size. I have Photoshop so I don't, um, I use this for other things, I use this for my, my YouTube uh, graphics when I do bother to create them. Um, but anyway, look, uh, I'm not going to spend time on this uh, side of things because this is something you could watch another YouTube video to find out how to do, but it, anyway, you could just put together um, you know, custom dimensions perhaps. We do one, do they have a suggestion on what size it should be? Uh, ensure they're at least 550 pixels wide by 370 high. So if we say 550 by 370, there we go. And then literally it's just a case of drag and drop and click and edit on this type, this type of thing. So you can pick like uh, templates here if you want to, or photographs, some of them are free, some of them you have to pay for, uh, like that's a free image, so maybe you had something like that. Quite a nice image, it's not perfect, but again, in the interest of speed, you could add a heading, um, free blog comments or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, do something that catches the eye. Then when you down, you can then download that, upload it into your Fiverr, um, into your Fiverr gig. Let's just click and drag that. There we go. So there's my uh, there's my gig photo. If you're uh, into uh, video, you could f record a video. So you could do like a screen recording. You could use Loom.com, which is a Chrome extension. You can download and use that to uh, to do this with. Anyway, then you hit save and continue, and that'll be it. Your gig will be published. Now, if uh, Fiverr want you to make any changes to it because you said something you're not allowed to say, they'll let you know, or it might get declined. Then you need to edit it, go back in. But anyway, guys, that is how you can start making a few extra few extra pounds for yourself over this uh, terrible terrible time where um, you know people are getting losing their jobs and, and not having the ability to work so hopefully this helped you out I know it's something a little bit different but I just wanted to put something out there that might help you guys in this tough time thanks very much for watching and I'll speak to you all again real soon